and now it's time to assemble the carriage. But before we do that, a quick ad from Flashforge. This is the Flashforge Adventurer 4. It has a build volume of 220 by 200 by 250 millimeters, and it's quite larger than the previous version. It can print PLA, ABS, PETG, ASA, polycarbonate, silk, metal fill, wood, polycarbonate, ABS, carbon fiber PLA, and carbon fiber PTG. It comes with auto level and a flexible plate for a hassle free print removal. And this unit came with a prototype extruder, but the extruder in the final version can be changed in just three seconds. The printer comes ready to print out of the box, so there is nothing to be assembled. It's quite convenient. And it has an EPA filter for those nasty fumes. And in case of a power loss, it can recover the print. It also makes very low noise while printing. For more information on the Adventurer 4 and other Flashforge products, check the link down below. And now, let's assemble the carriage. I was planning on making it smaller, I always do. So I didn't have enough belt for the entire machine. So I had to join two belts together with this. I, I ordered more and I hope it arrives on time for testing. But in the meantime, and all the mechanical parts are in place. So it's time to do the wiring because wiring is so over -part.
The X-axis fits an entire 4 feet 1,244 millimeters, but it's only 2 meters long, 400 millimeters shy of the 4x8. But this machine has a trick up his sleeve because I left a hole in here and you could easily slide those 400 millimeters out this side. You cannot cut them all at once but you could have the entire sheet on the machine. Just in time. It seems that it works, it works great. And now we have a huge CNC router to cut giant gears that we may need very soon. If you want more info about how to get the files for this machine, there is a link on the description. Thanks a lot to Flashforge for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check the link on the description. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons for allowing me to do this kind of madness. Thank you. And now please go and make something!